Today marks the one year anniversary of Food on a Model. One year ago today, I flew to Japan to co host an exhibition in collaboration with food stylist Kaoru Mitsui, merging my project, Models That Eat, with her project, Food in a Photograph. Our gallery was graciously hosted by our friends at Anna Magazine, a women's fashion and lifestyle magazine, where our artwork was also showcased in print over a 14 page feature in their 13th volume. Our goal with Food on a Model was to depict the very intimate and delicate relationships with food each of us have, through a series of black and white photographs of models, styled by Kaoru herself, with valuable ingredients relevant to each individual. In celebration of this day, we sat down to discuss what this collaboration means to us, and how the two of us came together from opposite sides of the world with one thing in common, our love for food. So yeah, wait, what does this sticker mean again? It says, oh, customer, you're making me some trouble, kind of like. Customer? Yeah. <laughs> what? Funny. That's funny. I didn't realize that. I thought this was one of those ones that's like, give me a hug. Like, I thought it was a uh, hug. <laughs> when, when was our opening day? 24th of April. <gasps> Ooh, today is 21st in Japan. Oh my god. What are your thoughts though? Like maybe it's long term too. Like how did it affect you post everything? So the biggest thing that I've learned is probably the same as you to collaborate made a huge difference in creativity. I've never worked with anyone to create one of those pieces like food on a photograph. So when we started the process, I was kind of terrified because <laughs> I never, you know, was sure if we, I think we were both kind of trying to, how do you say, grab the cr cloud? No, that's what we say in Jap Japanese. Like you don't know where, if you can really catch it. You know, the deadline was there and I had meetings with the magazine crew and, I was like, we have to do this. <laughs> then the second kind of horrifying feeling was like, since we were, you were shooting with film photography, film camera, you know, we never knew what was going to be there, right? Okay, it came out. Okay, we got, we have some kind of material. And then it was like, am I really going to make, be able to make pieces from these photos? photos because all those I worked with were like I got to choose from so many photos of Audrey Hepburn so that was also a challenge we did the collab and then we you know engaged with the people that saw the the work I never th thought that um I could be connected with people that I don't know in that deep kind of level through our work you know with all the Audrey, Audrey series, it was just for my fun. And I just did it for fun. And it was a way to kind of express what I feel is beautiful of this ingredient. And what I feel is beautiful about Audrey, it just, you know, married well. Because we collaborated, it was a new next level. It was totally different. And people saw a different aspect of the, you know, artwork. And there was message in the work, um, an important message that you carry on your platform, right? So it was much deeper in a different aspect. So honestly, after our collab, it was so hard for me to create something with food on a photograph because now I saw a different aspect of this artwork and I wasn't able to do anything like that. So it took me an, a year. <laughs> so for a whole year after that, I think I didn't make anything. It was that, you know, deep experience for me to collaborate with you. Yeah, how collaboration can bring you to a different level.
I agree. Good collaboration though. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I see it the same way. It's really hard to come back for something like that, that has, that one took up so much of our time mentally and emotionally in a positive way, because we were really yeah. in it. And then it's kind of this game because you and I too, we're workaholics. It's like, how do we match that? And it's like, the reality is, it's like, our art isn't meant to match it. Our, yeah. all of our other things are super separate and mm -hmm. each body of work lives on its own. And it's this beautiful thing. There's an emotional like barrier that developed after the fact and when I got home from Japan I know personally I like took two months to just do nothing I was like <laughs> oh we did it good job and it's like all right it's like, when do I start working again and it's like hmm, hmm. <laughs> I don't know we'll find out but I definitely agree and I think over the span of the next three months after I slowly rolled out videos I mm -hmm. slowly rolled out our content from Japan mm -hmm. and yeah, it was definitely a different creative process after that. It felt like something such a strong body of work, which to me is timeless. And this is something that we will always have as a token of like, mm -hmm. almost like proof of our power, you know, like mm -hmm. we're two women and we've been working tirelessly at a craft in our like separate crafts mm -hmm. that have been kind of deemed so niche mm -hmm. that it's easy to feel alone. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to feel isolated in our work. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we lose sight of why we're doing it. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm, you might be so deep in like a food styling, mm -hmm. you're like putting the last kernel of corn on a dress and you're like, where am I? And why am I doing this? And am I crazy? And it's like, but we both know like all of this comes from deeper meaning. Like mm -hmm. we have such deep core values, especially around food and as different as they were and i learned so much from you like information was just seeping in my pores in japan i felt like every, i was just absorbing everything that your life about your life and your culture and everything you've absorbed around food and like all the information that you gave me was like more than i could have ever imagined you know when it comes to appreciating food and like seeing it for something so delicate but strong and when I got home, I really think I also felt this feeling of like, I wasn't doing enough before. There's so much more to be said and that our work, it almost feels like we'll never be done, but it makes me excited because I know there's infinite opportunity to touch people in that way. And I think I've always had a fear after the show of not touching people in that way. Because mm -hmm. there was such a deep connection there. Mm. And it meant so much to us. It means so much to us still. I mean, I look back at everything and it's so rich. It's just really funny how we both felt the same thing. And I remember, like, we'd check in with each other and be like, how are you? And be like, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm good. <laughs> Maybe for another month. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's why I really needed to do something different than that. Like, because I tried to do food on a photograph again, but it didn't really, you know, make sense to me because it didn't have much meaning to it but now I don't know when I will be able to do something like that so I will have to be prepared for that <laughs> it's kind of like you know trying to get the hang of it again <laughs> like because since I haven't been doing it for so long um I felt like I need to get back I kind of came back again to where I'm just simply having fun like I don't have to think much about it. I just feel like, oh, I don't care about like if I use the same ingredients. I I used to be so insecure about like using the same ingredients. Like I don't want to say use the same ingredients ever. So that that will limit me every time. Now I'm more like just keep on creating is like my mentality right now. Like because we have the time and now that we're in quarantine, I feel so comfortable <laughs> that I can only be creating what I want to create and no one can judge me for it because, you know, it's even better that I'm creating more stuff. I don't judge anyone for not being creative, but it's like, you can't judge me for me doing what I want to. It's no, like, exactly. You're like, I, dude, it's hard to sustain that mm -hmm. now. So anything you do is like a... 
yeah it's like yay <laughs> i did something yeah. like even you know cooking yeah. what, whatever is like good for yourself and that's most important like you if you feel good about yourself and um i think now i'm really comfortable to create you know that's so good and i think right now it's like we kind of just have to utilize this time in a way it's like we're learning about ourselves and like yeah I think that this was, to think that this project was a year ago kind of shows us like the growth in a year even like that yeah. like really changed our lives in a big way for me a lot of it was like the fact that we set an intention and we did it like mm -hmm. not even on some oh like look what we did like flexing it's like we literally manifested a project just mm -hmm. out of being like we need to do something mm -hmm. and then all the opportunities fell into place we couldn't have landed with a better magazine or host because it felt like they really understood your work inside out they've always been a fan of you and the fact that they just believed in me as like the counterpart mm -hmm. was fantastic and they like i like i look at this magazine and i still get in shock like they literally put our project on their name yeah. <laughs> on top of it <laughs> yeah and it, it's really cool and like this zine is not like like come on this is the cutest shit ever like, I, <laughs> like this magazine was like it's exactly what i would have hoped for in like a body of work because it doesn't you know it, it, it's the perfect merging of fashion and lifestyle and travel and like all the things we love like we yeah. literally meet when you travel to new york mm -hmm. and it's kind of this like great merging of stuff and i don't know i think like the align i guess my point with that is like alignment is big like when you're stepping into your element especially creatively and it's meant to be mm -hmm. like the way it is everything feels natural and there is no force i think the most important is if you feel like you want to create something you should really just do it <laughs> it's like and then think about what people think about it just way after that like where you when you get to the point where you want to show it to someone because if you don't have anything to show to anyone you don't even have to worry about what people will think about you just create what you want to express like what you want to get out of your your mind or like your heart um your body if you if there's something that you want to you know release from yourself then you really just need to do that slow and steady wins the race and i think you know hopefully this is something that when we both know it's time like we can bring to new york it's sad that right now it's like we're so the future is so unknown that we're like oh my god what's happening but i think we have such a strong foundation of like what we envision mm -hmm. and we both learned a lot i know on my side i learned a lot about what you need when it comes to the photos and i think i've learned a lot about what the you know what the extension of this would look like i know like photo quality for me is it needs to be up i think it's about a lot of prep and a vision and i feel very lucky to have been a part of it with you me too I learned a lot it was great i miss it so much i miss being in japan eating udon and just <laughs> so <alive> right now <sighs> so fun and our curry at that spot <laughs> with the okra <laughs> that's really good so good. And your avocado toast. I will never. Like, my avocado toast. <laughs> oh my never. god, the other day I made avocado toast with Duca. <gasps> you made me the best avocado toast of my life at your house. <laughs> and you still won't tell me what was in it, and I'm angry. <laughs> I was like, girl, it doesn't just end up this fluffy. And you were like, <laughs> and I was like, no, oh so bad, so bad. <sighs> It feels impossible for me to put into words how this exhibit has changed my life. I would be nowhere without the amazing models that were a part of this project. I want to thank Kaoru for 
being my other half during this entire journey, someone who I trust wholeheartedly with my creativity and my heart and my soul and my everything. You are a powerhouse of a person and I can't even begin to describe how grateful I am that I walked into the bookstore that day and found your zine. You are everything and I love you so much. Cheers to the future.